Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone. I recently made a video about the Sony AX700 camcorder, which I think is a good, versatile camera. But it is just a one inch sensor. With large sensor mirrorless cameras getting the bulk of the attention these days, I decided to make a video comparing the image quality of the AX700 to a couple of mirrorless cameras with larger sensors. I'll be comparing four cameras today. I'll be using the Sony AX700, obviously, which has a one inch class sensor, a Sony A6400, which has a much larger APS-C size sensor, a Sony A7 III, which has a full frame 35 millimeter size sensor, and lastly, I'll be throwing in a Sony AX53 to the mix. It has a small one over 2.5 inch class sensor, so I'm sure it won't be a match for the noise performance and dynamic range of the others, but it will be fun to see just how far behind it is or isn't. None of these cameras are top of the line or state of the art, but they can all record 4K video in the same 420 8-bit H.264 format and at the same bit rate. So it should be an interesting comparison. For this first set of clips, I won't initially have them labeled as to which camera they came from. In some cases, you may be able to pick which clip is from which camera, but hey, that's kind of the point of a blind test. It can be fun to see if you can figure out which is which. But even if picking everyone accurately is easy, that still tells you something. I didn't try to record anything specific, I just went out and recorded random, short clips with each camera. These clips weren't meant to be direct comparisons, but more of a way to see if the quality difference stands out, or if it's obvious at all in good light. And that is a point to note. These clips were all in good light. I realize these clips don't cover nearly every situation, but it was just some random examples of the image quality from each of these cameras. Now let's go through them once again, more quickly this time, but with the camera they are from displayed at the top. Any surprises? This next series of clips is a more direct comparison between all the cameras. Sure, there are some slight color and framing differences, but these clips are all of the same thing in the same light. I should also point out that none of these clips are straight out of the camera. I did do some slight grading on all of them, but it's still representative of the kind of results you can get from these cameras. In good light, I think they all do a good job. The AX53 does show its lack of dynamic range compared to the others, even in this basically ideal situation, but all in all, it does pretty well. Next up is my garage, and here you can see that the AX53 definitely struggles with dynamic range, even though this situation isn't all that tough. I exposed down to preserve highlights, and in turn, the shadows got harsh. When I crop in 700%, you can get an idea of the amount of noise the sensor has, even in this bright lighting. The AX700 has noticeably more dynamic range, with better transitions from highlights and shadows. It results in a more natural looking image overall. And when I crop in the same 700%, it's clear that there is still some noise, but there's noticeably less color noise, and much more fine detail is preserved as well. The A6400 sees a slight bump in dynamic range, but not as dramatic as the jump from the AX53 to the AX700. When cropped in, there is very little noise present in the A6400. In this situation, the A7 III seems to have nearly the same dynamic range and noise performance, 
as the A6400. If I put all the clips together side by side with the camera they're from at the top, it's clear that there's a bigger difference between the AX53 and the rest than there is between the AX700 and the two mirrorless cameras. Though the two mirrorless cameras do have less noise and a cleaner, more detailed image than the AX700. But remember, this is cropped in 700%, which is fairly extreme. Next is a low light comparison. I pointed a pale purple light at the burn path in my yard at night and I recorded a short clip with each camera. I tried to set all the cameras to give a similar exposure. With the AX53, I had to choose between having the exposure darker than the others overall, or end up with the birdbath overexposed. Surprisingly, there isn't a whole lot of noise in the AX53 image, but the camera must be doing quite a bit of noise reduction because there is a lot of lost detail, so the birdbath and the branches of the bushes look a bit mushy and undefined. And remember when I said I used a pale purple light? Well, no matter what I did with the white balance settings on the AX53, it always came out blue. The AX700 does a whole lot better. I ended up with a far brighter shot with the birdbath only just approaching overexposed, and I didn't actually grade any of these nighttime clips. There is actually a bit more noise than there was in the clip from the AX53, but there is way more detail preserved both in the birdbath and in the bushes. The A6400 managed an image just as bright, but with a smoother exposure due to the increased dynamic range. It also manages to maintain very good detail while having extremely low noise. The A7 III is once again extremely similar to the A6400 with similar detail and noise levels. Overall, the AX700 does pretty well in this low light, but it's hard to deny the performance of the larger sensor cameras here. Also, I know that the color and contrast is a bit less vibrant from the A7 III and the A6400, but they're probably more true to reality, and if you did want that bold look, all it would take is a bit of contrast and saturation bump. And with that, hopefully you have a better idea of where the AX700 falls in terms of image quality compared to the larger sensor mirrorless cameras. Obviously, once you start talking about newer cameras, different brands, different file codecs, different bit rates, bit depth, etc., there's going to be other factors and possibly larger differences. But I think that these four cameras offer a relatively sensible comparison. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.